Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm James, continuing on with this Balsa USA smoothie build. And in this video, I'm actually gonna do a couple small things and I don't think this video is gonna be too long. Um, so let me show you something that I did off camera. Let me pull this hatch off of here. What I did is when I was working on the, the front end of the plane here, when I was kind of pressing and using, you know, just basically using hand pressure and working with it, I noticed that the that the sides would sort of flex in because they weren't supported um, up here. So what I did is I added these two pieces of quarter inch balsa. I just sort of spanned, made a little bridge here, sort of like was done on the bottom with this with this block, this lower block. You know, again, there was nothing here. So these sides were sort of like they could squeeze in. And I was kind of worried that when the engine was running, you know, I'd get some vibration up there. So I'm hoping that I can minimize the vibration and also kind of strengthen up this little nose area. So you can kind of see how I finished that off there. And let me see, let me get the, let me get the hatch now and put this back on. You can kind of see how it finished up here in the front. Yeah, so that's pretty much the way it came out. And I took the engine out, obviously, because I need to do some additional work. When I get, to, before I put the engine in, I'm gonna paint the inside of this with probably like an epoxy resin to help protect it from fuel and that type of thing. So yeah, so there's the finished kind of front end, at least for now. I always tend to kind of go back and maybe do a little bit of sanding here and there just because it's sort of it's kind of what I do. I think a lot of people do that. They, it's hard to know kind of exactly when to stop when you're doing this kind of thing, but I think I'm pretty, pretty close now kind of where I like it. All right, so another thing I did actually off camera or off the video was I patched this area here. There was a, um, there was like a little pit in the wood here as I, as I brought this, this, as I cut this wood down in here to kind of make this little kind of mock canopy or this mock cockpit area, there was a pit in there. If you can, if you go back to the last video on this, you'll see it in there. And what I did is I filled it in with this material this is just the Bondo glazing and spot putty. And it's for all kinds of different materials. It's for, uh, let's see here. Yeah, so for metal, wood, fiberglass, and sanded primer and paint. Basically, this is a lot like any other kind of, you know, there's all kinds of different fillers and things that you could use. I actually purchased this because I got a recommendation because I also build plastic models. Like, uh, let, me pull, let me pull this guy over here. It's kind of covered in dust. But I also build, you know, I build scale models also. And one of the things for patching, this actually stuff works pretty good for, for, um, for patching plastic also. So I use it in when I'm building scale models. Here's a World War I um, tadpole British tank. In any case, that's a whole different story there. So what I'm gonna do is, you can see I patched this. And what I like about this stuff is it dries pretty, dries quickly and then it sands really nice. It just sands, you can sand it nice and very smooth. And I have a couple areas where I have sort of a seam back here in the turtle deck. There's one here. It may be hard to pick up on the camera, but there's a little kind of little seam in there. And there's also one on this side that I started to fill in. But I thought I would do in this video is just kind of fill this in and, and do that. And then after this, I'll get to the, to the tail, tail section in, the, in my next video. Okay, so again, I'm just, I'm just gonna use a little, a little kind of, this is a stir stick, just so I can kind of use it to sort of smear it on there. And I like the little tube that it comes in. It kind of keeps it, it, I've had this for quite some time. It keeps it nice and fresh. I'll just put this on here. Get some more of that. All right. This side. And like a lot of sort of patching or compounds like this it will it when it dries it starts to cure up pretty quick and so it's kind of you have to kind of put it on like what I do is I try to put it on quickly and fill it and then don't go back and mess with it 
because um, then you'll pull it back out. You know, it starts to cure up on you, then it then starts to get sticky, and then you end up with a, um, then you pull it out and it gets all messy. So it's best to kind of move quick, keep moving, and then go back to it. And this stuff does, this particular product, this is the Bondo stuff again, um, it will, it does shrink. So I'll have to go back to it, maybe. Okay, so I'm gonna let this go ahead and kind of cure up and I'll come back and sand it. And then you kind of see here in this, this part, it sands nicely. I mean, it's really nice. Gives you a nice smooth surface. So like there's a little gap right there I can fill in here. Let's see. Now these little gaps, because I'm covering this plane with monocoat, I, you wouldn't see these anyhow. The, the monocoat would just span right over that. There it goes. But I kind of just wanted to do it just to show show you. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let this stuff cure up and come back and give it a sanding. Okay, so I let this uh, cure for a little while. And actually, it did shrink a little bit. Like I mentioned before, it does it does shrink a little bit. So I did put some more. I kind of filled it, filled it again. And this bottle over here also. So I'm going to go ahead and sand this down now. And the thing about this stuff is it does this red powder kind of comes off. So... Um, people may not like that. Maybe one reason they may not like this type is because it does have this kind of brown powder and it can get a little messy, but it, I just kind of vacuum it up or I just kind of uh, wipe it off as I go. Okay, so that's about it for this. I'll spend a little bit more time just trying to clean off some of the residue and this kind of red material here. And you kind of see it filled in nicely. It's nice and smooth, kind of filled that little, that little seam I had also down here. And I also kind of did a little bit more cleanup in, the, in this little cockpit area. So yeah, so that's it. I think the fuselage is basically finished and I'm gonna move on. My next video is going to be the tail section. And I have the pieces kind of sitting out here. These are just going to be some plank quarter inch balsa pieces to build up the tail section, or I should say like the, the horizontal and vertical stabilizers and the rudder and the, and the elevator. And so that should be actually a pretty straightforward little step there. Thanks for watching the channel. I appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.